Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios. And wow, has it been a little bit since I've been here. It's been a busy few days. Uh, we'll start off by the fact that I did a live last Thursday morning, a week ago yesterday, thinking all morning it was Friday and I would just jump on and do a live since I didn't have time to record a video and upload it. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you missed that last Thursday... Go back and pick it up because I showed a few things new that I got in from Stampin' Up uh, that I'll be playing with in the coming couple of weeks or so. And if you don't already know, I was also preparing for a visit from my friend Ginger Crafts, a.k.a. Terry, um, from the UK. And we've known each other online for about three years but had never met. She was in the States for her daughter's graduation and visiting family and... So she came through and spent a couple of days with me, and it was really fun getting to know her in person. She had also sent ahead some packages that, as we got lucky enough, my package, she sent three packages. One was mine, one, and the other three were, uh, or the other two, rather, were packages that were supposed to have gone to her, gone with her to a crafter's retreat in Independence, Kansas last weekend. That didn't get here until after she left on Sunday night. So, um, I'll have some other things to show you in the future. But for this morning, instead of our usual junk journal Friday, I'm going to share with some some of the things that she brought me. Um, if you're new to my studio, hi, I'm Kelly, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in South Central Missouri. But I also get my fingers in just about anything that doesn't move fast enough to get out, get without a breach. <clears throat> I'm also just getting over a head cold, <clears throat> but I didn't want to delay getting a video up any longer, so please bear with me. I'm going to try and make this quick <clears throat> before this really kicks in. So, the box that Terry sent me, she knows that I am a planner girl, so she sent me this Paper Mate Inkjoy Mini Ball Points. And I thought they were up ultra smooth ink, and I thought they were uh, perma pens, but they are actually little ink pens. And I think these are going to be perfect tips to put in my uh, spirograph. So those will get put to use because you know paper mate pens are the ones that are the best use because of their tip to use with spirograph. She also gave me some sparkle medium uh, gels from Imagination Craft. She brought me iced plum. Look at that. Look at that. Now she said I might have to re-moisten them. They were a little on the old side. These came out about nine years ago. They're things she's not using so thought she'd share before pitching. This one is black currant. And then this one is Merlot Red. This one I don't... Yeah, I could get this one open. So I'll have to see if we can get those to working when I'm done with stamping up. And then this is the Sparkle Medium Sugar Mousse. And I thought it had been open too. There we go. Look at that pretty pink. So there are some good things to play with here. And I'm going to leave a link down below to Imagination Crafts' website for these, as well as a link to a gal... Um, Amy Shaw, I believe, that is playing with these. And you just run them through your stencils. Oh, so pretty. Then, let's see. Um, she got me some unicorn trims from the Pound Shop, which is their version of Dollar Tree. I'm trying to figure out where to put stuff so I don't lose it. Um... She thought I could use these bird stickers, and she's right, I can. Those will look pretty in my garden journal. Um. <coughs> she also sent everybody a tube map for Underground London. Isn't that cool? Things that we wouldn't find here in the United States, which makes them the best items. Then I have, let's see plastic envelope to put stuff in, so I'll slip that there. This is a shrink wrap paper. You put it over like the column of a candle tube, 
and dip it in hot water and it just sucks up against the glass. Um, I think that's going to be in a candle glass for sure. Then she gave me this envelope full of all kinds of papers. We have this little gift bag that's full of tiny stuff. That's going to be fun. Um, ice coupon check. Little paper ephemera there. And then some napkins. You know, because you can't have too many napkins. I love this one. The, the snowflake pattern behind there is barely discernible. I guess I could turn them right side up. Little foxes. The cute and children's Christmas journal. I really love this one. It already has a vintage look to it. So does this one. Uh, poinsettia stuff. And you're going to see a poinsettia theme running. And then she knew I needed napkins for my bee journal. So we'll set that one aside. And then these are um, train schedules. And part of a French diction, no, um, equation. French equ equatorial Africa, French, and Guinea. Oh, for stamps. Stamp collecting book. And then this one from a book on learning Chinese. So we have those. And I'm going to slide this one back in there. I don't lose anything. Of course, now, you know, I get to figure out where I'm putting all of this stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, like I said, you're going to see a poinsettia theme here. Brought me uh, some music paper. Cute little owls. And i got to remember to ask her what these were. These did not come out this way. These were done. And I can't remember how she said those were done. I need to check with her. And then we have some scrapbook paper. And that is really heavy stuff, almost hunky-dory quality uh, weight. And then there's this burlap with the embossed poinsettias on it. And this, this is a sticky paper with a napkin on it, but it has a really cool weight to it. So we have those. These are papers, and she said these aren't digitals, they come this way, because, yeah. there's quite a few of those in different color tones, beautiful cutouts. Lots of those to play with. I love this vintage tone of this. And there's a couple of sheets of that. And I do plan to do a poinsettia book at some point because I have all the poinsettia stuff from um, Stampin' Up! when we brought out our dies and stuff a couple of years ago. And I have trying to keep everything to where I can get to it. Then they were these, um, Woodland Winter. Those are going to be pretty to play with. And this is more of that shrink film. See how they've taken and shrink, shrunk it around a Christmas ball? So those are more of the shrink stuff, like that blue one. And I'm going to show you these before I bury them. These were napkins that came in the after pack stripes on this side, but wait till I flip it over. Look at those. And we have this one. And we have this one. So we have plenty of these stuff to play with. And if you're liking those, keep in mind when I get my bee journal done, I'll be putting together bee journal kits and I'll be making items with those napkins. Then we have these daisies. Hang on, I need a drink of water here. 
and the crowns. And I've not flipped through these, so we'll see these together. A day to remember. Hmm. That one is really pretty. Very springy. I really like that one. Then there's a green. Uh, wildflowers. I have more napkins than I will probably ever use. I love this with the butterflies and the bees. We may leave that one out. Well, that bee looks like the one on the other napkin. We'll save that one. So we have those. I'll package those back up later. And here's another one of those sticky sheets with the napkins ironed on them. Hope everyone's doing okay. Um, like I said, I'm just getting over a head cold. Tabby, my Tabitha cat, sneezed in Daddy's face about two weeks ago. He had it for three days, and now I have it. And I've had it for about five, and I'm really tired of it. These are um, a good heavyweight, too, almost hunky-dory quality. Nice vintage Christmas. I love the color tones on these. And these were from off of a pad. I can tell by the way they catch when I try to separate them. Okay, there's that. Oh, look, more napkins. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to hold that pot for just a minute. apologize. I don't know how to stop my camera or pause it. And I'm starting to get nauseous. I needed a cracker. Um, okay, season's greetings. More poinsettias. These have got a vintage tone to them. And this little cocktail napkin. There's a couple of those. Okay. Um, I guess this is wrapping paper. It almost looks like it could be the shrink, but I think it's a um, heavyweight tissue paper. There's so much in here, you guys. Cards and envelopes, more papers. These are more of that paper pad. The others were 8x8. These are 6x6s. Amazing Cards, Gifts, and Stationery by Josie Chenoy. Very pretty. I'm glad I have a tub for those. Okay. I may have to do this in two parts just because I'm just still not feeling well this morning. Okay. Here's an interesting set. She has put charms on the corners of napkins, including bee charms. So I'm going to set that one up there. This one over here with the napkins. This one. And I don't think there's one of those over there. There isn't, so we'll put one of those over there. This one over there. That one we know we've seen. Those owls. And then the charm packs that are on them. And then this one with <coughs> peacocks. And I make sure the peacock one with Julie. She does the peacocks. <coughs> more papers. These are more springy tones. Look at those. Aren't those pretty? I love the lavenders. Okay. More napkins. More a lot of like of what we've seen, I think. And blue is pretty. <coughs> I am so sorry. 
I really want a video up this morning. We may make this one a short video. We'll see. I love this one. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to lay some of these down on the floor because I'm having trouble getting them to stay out of my way. Uh, more napkins. Incredible Hospice and Neurological Care, Fox in the Snow. By purchasing this card, you're supporting people at the most difficult time of their lives. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and flip through the last of this really quick. Um, those are interesting notes, stickers, tags. Let me know if these are things you would like to see in my shop. I've looked at these from things that Maddie has sold before. That I could do these. Um, London Maps. Hyde Park, where everybody goes to watch all the big events on the big screen when weddings and whatnot happen. And then remember those sticker sheets she had the uh, napkins ironed on? This is them. So I'm looking forward to trying those. And then there's two packages. I think she got these from the pound shop. <coughs> so almost through. <coughs> oh, I'm so glad I didn't go to Big Mama's. That's all I can say. And we have these. Now the A and the S are in the box somewhere. I love that. <coughs> from fabric strips. Poinsettia ribbon. <coughs> oh, and as we near the end of this morning, big poinsettias. Um, bingo sheets. Aren't these interesting bingo sheets? There's the A. And then there's this Anna Griffin collection. Now, this one is interesting. I've not seen this before, but then again, I don't always catch Anna Griffin. This is an Anna Griffin coloring book. I thought this was really interesting. Color those in and you've got automatic card fronts. And there's two of everything in here, it looks like. So that's from Anna Griffin. And that brings me to the bottom of the box. Um, I do have another bag, a couple of bags down here, what we found while we were shopping. Let me see if I can get through those really quick. We went out shopping Friday. And Saturday, no, yeah, Friday and Saturday, and then she prepared to leave on Sunday. Now that my box is empty, I can put stuff over here. So we had quilt store on Saturday. I fell in love with some things. This is a charm pack, Midnight Magic. I got this one for my uh, October daily albums. Um, some of these patterns will also match beautifully with the graphic 45 Midnight Tales. Then I got this, uh, I got a quarter yard of this bird fabric. And they're just a little bit bigger than cigarette cards. So I thought those were kind of cool. And then this top mosaic tile caught my attention. This is from QT Fabrics, Dan Morris Designs. And they had a lot of Kathy Holden, but I didn't get any Kathy Holden this time. I'm probably going to wait till November when they have the uh, shop hop and everything will be 20% off. But then there is this one. I'm going to fold it this way so you can see and go one direction. There's this one in so many ways to cut this apart. I'm not a big sunflowers girl, but I know why they do it with bees. But I could cut these out and use these. This one would be pretty. Okay. Then there's these two. Home is where the hive is. Sweet as honey. And then there are four more. I'll fold it and go this way. Home sweet honey. Oh, behave. Behave. And then busy bee and save the bees and then you have this here on the color strip this is by um 
Show Me the Honey by Janice Gaynor at blankquilting.net. So if you like that, you might want to look into that one. So those were my fabrics that I got. Oh, and then I got Change of Seasons. This is one that um, <clears throat> Terry and I both got. We really love the blues in this one. Nice wintry blues, sages, early espresso kind of colors. So those were my fabrics. And then I found this notepad to go in my sewing journal kits with these notepads. So I've got plenty of sewing type stuff to do those sewing journals. I need to take that out of there. One of the neat things about um, Rusty Moon Quilts is a local quilt shop and they have just about everything. But you can visit with everybody on their Tuesday Night Live on their Facebook page. Every Tuesday night they go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. <coughs> they have um, uh, God, I can't think. I just, my brain just went nuts. But they show off new product that's coming in. Um, and then they have a members only sale if you join their Facebook, if you join their uh, members only club, then you get in on the um, early pre sales of stuff. They had um, Tim Holtz's Alterations 2, and it sold out before it hit the store. So there you go. Uh, by the way, um, Alterations 3 will be out in September. And then we went flea marketing, and I found this book on Who Shot JFK, and it almost has a cartoony type. I thought this would go good with my um, JFK collection. And then there's this one, My Toys Coloring Book, and this um, refers back to uh, Dick and Jane. And I'm not going to try flipping past the lamps on all of these, but I had to have this one. And it was, of all things, $1.90. <laughs> Interesting price, don't you think? I guess if nothing else, I picked it up and looked at it for the quirky price, and that's what they were after. And then we went to another thrift place, and I also hit Dollar Tree. And I found this bling. Thought these would be perfect as flower centers. Um, my 4th of July bunting. I didn't have enough. And then I found these ice cream cone napkins. But if you square that off and cut the point off, it could also be a cupcake. And I thought of my youngest granddaughter, Abby, when I saw that because I call her cupcake. And then we went to my favorite um, flea market, the mill in Elsinore. And I picked up these postcards. This is a... Downtown Cripple Creek, Colorado. Does not have a year on it, but I'm going to say somewhere around the 1960s, maybe. Late 50s. Uh, this one I thought was cool. This was from 1912. Dr. Stirk lives in a castle in the air among the silver lined clouds somewhere. He knew we wanted a baby to love, so he brought us a son with gifts from above. And somebody changed it to girl. We'll call, him, call her Irene Madeline. On March 30th, 1912, weighing six pounds. <coughs> Such a tiny girl. And then there was this one. Uh, this was in the Mun Munford Cattle Feedlots outside of Greeley, Colorado. And I love this vintage Christmas card. And then this one. And this one I got because Stampin' Up! has a wheel die and they also have the days to remember but this has and it's stuck I'd have to use this gum sticker to secure the wheel at the proper date for you on your whatever birthday and I thought that one was really cool so I'm going to try and pair that one up with Stampin' Up and that is me 
for this edition of What's in My Box. <laughs> Thanks for joining me in the studio today. Remember, if you are here at 1030 Central Standard Time today, we are in the chat room right next door. Come chat with us, stop in, say hello. And of all the things that I showed today, what caught your attention? In the meantime, I'm going to go pamper my cough, and I will see you to tomorrow if I can. I may not make it tomorrow, but I really need to get an 8x8 eight eight, uh, baby page done that should have been done weeks ago, but we know where that's been. Um, so I'm going to try and get that done this morning. If I do, I will have a scrapbook Saturday video tomorrow. If not, I won't be back until probably Monday with a Make It Mail It Monday because I have the brand new paper pumpkin. So in the meantime, remember to like, share, and subscribe and create a blessings.